Hey everybody, my name is Angie Morenga. You're watching Lifestyle Thursday um, on Just Angie, and I'm continuing a conversation with Nyawera. Uh, we've had two different um, series, and um, today's the third one. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to talk about your YouTube channel, yes. Misunderstood. Yes. I remember there's a day you talked about purpose, mm -hmm. and I was like, gosh. And you know, I, I was really debating. Yes. But I was like, no, I've got to get into it. And it was really, it was mm -hmm. very deep. And mm -hmm. I wrote to you, I, I think in private, yes, I you DM'd did. you, and mm -hmm. I was so amazed. I even did, I think, a Just Angie mm -hmm. series on it because of how impacted I felt yeah. by your message. So yeah. how do you start doing YouTube? Why purpose? Uh, What's misunderstood about? Yeah. The other day I watched Seasonal Friends. Yes. I loved it. Because mm. those are, those are, that's a <coughs> such an interesting dynamic yeah. for people to understand early mm -hmm. about friendship. Yeah. And that friendships are seasonal. Yeah. Mm. Okay, first, like I think, can I just get that cut of her saying that she watched and made a whole series about it? Like, you've validated my platform completely. Thank you, Pastor Angie. You're um, so welcome. And it really did. It, it did. did. I, 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 I watched it and I was like, wow. Yeah. Wow. And thank you. Um, I think I began um, misunderstood. I was on my friend's podcast, Ben Psycho, the Psycho podcast. Ah, okay. And he invited me one time. He had lost his sister to cancer. Mm. And we did a video on grief. And I'm telling you, it became something else. Because when we finished the video and he aired it, me in fact in my head I was like, okay, another conversation, yay. But it's the responses that triggered me to have conversation. Wow. Because people were reaching out to me and saying, oh my God, you know, when you said this, I resonated. When you said this, I felt this way. And now the questions began arising. So like, hey, Nyavira, so how do I do this? My friend has just passed on. What do I do? What do I do? And I wondered, me also, I don't know what to do. <laughs> now what do I do even? I'm not there with you. Yeah. But at the level I was at, I wondered, <laughs> what if I could tell them what to do? What I thought. Or what you thought. Just what your what thoughts I thought. are. Yeah. Because even in Ben's video, all I said was what I went through and what the lessons I learned in that season. Mm. So from that, we did a few more episodes with Ben on his platform and I realized people wanted more conversation in that regard. Mm. His platform is ridiculously big. I like it's imagine. huge, huge. Mm. And Ben is a fantastic communicator. He puts out the message right. Mm. But then I also realized in that space, there was space for me. Yes, and there so was I a said, space for There you. was a space for me. And I said, hey, okay, now let's think about this. What is the issue? People have no understanding to certain things. And so I asked God, what does it look like? And I felt strongly that you need to talk about what you know based on what you've been through. Mm. Don't Your go telling experiences. people things here. Oh, powerful quotes by Nyamira Gashogi. It's worthless. No. Yeah, <laughs> but I wanted to share authentic situations and authentic things that I've gone through. Mm. Have I fought with purpose? Every waking moment. Yeah. And that's why that video was there for me. My self-belief was a big thing. Seasonal French friendship in general has been a has been a huge thing it's for a huge me. One, even yes. for me, it's very huge. Yeah, and so I realized if I don't share my voice, then why was God taking me through these things? Mm. And so that's why the platform began. I think for me, it's given people an opportunity as mm -hmm. well for people your age, yes, um, who or who relate with you, yes, or who understand you, yeah, to to I think I, I, to hear themselves, yes, but also to ask what they what who else will you ask? You know, yes. look around and say who. Will, Who's gonna understand mm -hmm. what I'm what I what I'm going through? Yeah. What I'm gonna say. So I think that's been very powerful. And how long has it been? Go it's on, been how long? How long now? Um, last year, May 2020, 2021. What? Year. Mm. No. It's a year. Imagine I feel like it's been around for like <laughs> five years. <laughs> no, it's been a year because we did Ben's what? video in May. Um, yeah, it should have been sep May, June, July, August, September. There about should be almost a year. Yeah. And I look back now and I think it's, um, it's great. I don't think I'd have it any other way. But also what I wanted to say earlier is that when growing up, I used to think that ministry was preaching. You know, you see, was at see. the altar, oh, in the, the collar pulpit, and no. the fancy shirts. This is ministry. But then I realized that if I don't, you see, it's funny. Someone said, I think, I don't know who said it. And, I, and every time I say I have to quote them. Mm. But they said Jesus didn't have ministry. He lived. He lived. And that he was for me. The, yeah. So if that's the life, then if my life, if this is what God wants me to do on earth, 
then I hope that I'm doing it right. And you know why you're doing it right? Mm -hmm. and, and ministry is important because, you see, even Jesus' model was yes, discipleship. It was. Was living life with people mm -hmm. and then they learned from him. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what you're doing. Yeah. You're living life with people, yeah. albeit on a digital platform, mm. uh, but they can live your life. Yeah. They, ca they, they, are ex they, they can understand the challenges that they're yes. going through. Yes. They can receive different answers for situations, mm. and you can also feel like you're not alone. Yes. So you have like a community of people. Yes. Even if you don't see these people, you don't mm. engage with them every day, mm. but on the digital platform, you're engaging. Absolutely. So I'm, looking, I'm, I'm very sure that people are looking forward to your mm. content. And do you get your content even from the, the questions that arise? They do, I do. In fact, sometimes mm. I get, so like there's a lady who reached out to me when I was doing the friendship series and said, mm. hey, I have a friendship that I'm never happy in. And I wondered, that's not a friendship. But she doesn't know that. So it, it becomes like, ah, OK, this is a conversation. And the, more than likely, in a room of 10 people, at least five people are going through the same thing. So why not ask them and share? So mm. I use my Instagram to ask questions. People answer. We populate some content. Then it becomes a content. Mm. OK, great. So yeah, I'm hopeful wow. about that. Wow, wow. Mm. wow. I love it. I mm. love the misunderstood conversations. Mm -hmm. um, what other conversations have you had? I know seasonal friendship was good, yes. purpose was good. Mm -hmm. What other one has spoken to people? Self-belief. Believing wow. in yourself. Yeah. You know, Pastor Angie, I thought for the longest wow. time, as Nyawira, me, me here, seated here as this beautiful young girl, was that I used to think that if I believe in myself, I'm proud. And that's not true. It's not true, but it's a common thought. <laughs> because you start to feel to yourself, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're so into yourself. You're so about yourself. But you must be into but you yourself. Must be. With a level of humility. So how do you balance that? So that it's good. You're into yourself, yes. but you're humble. Because yes. we don't want to get arrogant yes. about who you are. Mm -hmm. But you must celebrate yourself. Absolutely. You must be proud of yourself. And for me, I think we were schooled that way. We were yes. always, for me, we were always schooled mm. to, to bring yourself down. Like, mm -hmm. don't shine out there. Like, yeah. I'll try, but I think your generation yes. has been brought up differently. It and you're has. like Althea's generation. Mm. So sometimes I'll tell Althea, hey, please, no, Slow you know, down. <laughs> you can't wear that makeup. Can't. And she's eh. like, why? Eh. I mean, because you're too much <laughs> out there. <laughs> so she always tell me, you know, she's a, she's a child. So she'll tell me, huh? Too much. She says, mom, you're a hypocrite. Mm. And I'm like, now how did it become I'm a hypocrite? Mm. But it's true. Because I want to play it down. I yes. want to tone it down. I want to fit Minimal in. attention. Yeah, minimal attention. Mm. And this child's attention is just drawn. It and is. she's like, me, I'm not drawing attention. And no one so, will tell me otherwise. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. how do you balance that? You well? balance, how do you learn how to balance because that? Because on his time on earth, Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. Self. Very you powerful. see, you can't, I can't love you if, if I'm I not aware of myself. myself. That's true. So if the test is, how am I loving me? Yeah. And what does that mean? Is yeah. that in me, they are gifts. Celebrate yes. them. In yeah. me, they are opportunities. Bring them out. In me, even, even rest. You yes. Know, just allowing yourself yes. to rest. Yes. Because I also saw a conversation the other day, I mm -hmm. think someone on social media, mm -hmm. how, like for us, mm -hmm. I think my generation was schooled that you have to be busy. Absolutely. So there are days, I'm telling you, if I sit on that sofa, I just have a conversation in my head. Mm. I can even hear my mom, mm. my dad. <laughs> I can hear all of them. My teachers, they all come. At You're that moment, lazy. You cannot sit here. What? Yes. You can sit here the whole day and do nothing? Yeah. But sometimes I've done so much. Like, I'm like, no, I, I want to take a rest. break. But we were not taught how to rest. No. Because that's, that's self-love. It is. That's self-care. It is. It Slow is. down. Yes. And it's not ungodly. Because that's the yeah. thing people are having a problem with. Everybody thinks that I can't take care of myself. Self-care mm. is like making you above God. No, mm. that's rubbish. God won't use you if you're not okay. Check yourself. <laughs> Check yourself. And you know, as you say that, he even brings even, whenever he gave somebody an instruction, like when he gave Moses an instruction mm -hmm. with the burning bush, mm -hmm. I always remember that Moses had stories about how he can't go, how he can't do. Absolutely. God didn't even address them. Mm -mm. He just sent the guy. Correct. And even his spokesman, okay, the idea, I used to say that he didn't speak, but he did speak in certain places. Mm. But God is just like, I've put the ability in you. Mm. Let's just get to work. Yeah. Yeah. Just get moving. Yeah. Stop telling me about what you can do and what you can't do. Yeah. And I think also what's powerful about what you said mm. is then I've been uh, um, sort of like resonating and wrestling with this thing that when we fear to do something, it's because we think it's about us. Correct. So God put the ability. God put the gifting. Mm -hmm. God puts the idea. But you can't do it because you're, you can't get over yourself. You're like, right. oh, I me. can't do it. What if I fail? Yeah. You yeah. put me into yeah. the situation. Yeah. You're like, please. Yes. Move. Get out of the way. Move mm. and just do what you're doing. And, and execute it. And so what if you fail? Yeah. So, you know, get up. Try again. Keep moving. Mm. How many people have failed? 
And who Many. defines failure? That's the other question in our time. Because our generation is messy. Hey, generation. Yeah, it's messy. Pastor, I crash. wish I was 50. Let me tell you, I wish we were here as peers. It's, it was so much easier. Like my dad, I listened to him and he would say things like, hey, but that's not an issue. In my head, it's like, this is May Day. I'm dying. I'm dying. You can't tell me it's not an issue. And in his head, he's like, yeah, you, you just need time. <laughs> Time yeah. will heal you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I'm in a time when it's unfortunate that we don't have authentic conversations. We don't have brutal honesty because if you have it, you're cancelled. If you, if you're honest with about your the way you live, you look a certain way. Um, if you are bold about certain truths, like you're a bit too much. So it's a, it's a, it's a weird balance. It is. But yeah. I think it's the weird balance is also with me because mm -hmm. sometimes I'll find myself wanting to do something. Let's even post something, mm -hmm. then I stop. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, now trying to weigh how people are going to see this. Yes. And the idea I said, who taught me that? Mm -hmm. Like, Pastanji, no. Mm -hmm. Be you. Correct. And who you want to be in this moment. Yes. Well, stop trying to stop and think, break up every angle. What will they feel? What will they say? Mm. How will I look? Yeah. No. Mm. I think freedom also is just understanding mm -hmm. that you can be you, do yeah. you, and keep moving. Yeah. And people don't have to understand, you yeah. don't have to explain, yeah. because I don't even know why it's just dropped in my spirit. Mm -hmm. When you have somebody, um, like this person, he used to make us laugh a lot, I can't remember his name now, but he committed suicide. You know, depression. Robbie Williams. Robbie Williams. Mm. That, you know that man, just even appearing, mm. I would be in stages. Missed out fire. And for me, I cannot believe that he mm. took his own life. That mm. with all he gave us, but then I think that's uh, maybe uh, so many factors have contributed. Is it the world around him? Did mm. he not believe in himself? Mm. Why did he not believe that he was? Who was there no one to talk to? Yes. Anyway, so there's just mm. a whole marriage of things. There are many things, layers. But, yeah, but I think yeah. just be you. So I love be misunderstood you. Be you. because you're helping your generation I and you're ministering so. to yeah. your generation. Well, there are those who are ministered. Yes. Like I always say, even if the audience, and you have quite a big audience, mm. but let's say when it was two people, yes. that's okay. God's mm. purposes was those two people. Yeah. They made a change in their life. They, yeah. they did something different. And it then, you know, the change mm. also affects generations. But Pastor Angie, could you speak on that just a bit more what, concerning mm. even if the audience is smaller? Mm. Because I think that's the challenge with our time. So many people have these conversations, but they're like, go to a go. So what do you think in that situation? But I'm also there. Mm. But <laughs> where, where are the people? This, uh, this story, this, I am doing a lot of content, shooting, doing, <laughs> playing, getting wet. And I'm like, hi, yeah, they can just ignore my, 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 pass my, it by. my yeah, they pass it by like they don't even care, like it's the wind. Yeah. Even the other day, somebody wrote um, on my, on my wall, like mm -hmm. they said, how come people don't comment mm. or watch more of this content? And I was like, yeah, I have a few words for you. They're consuming the other content <laughs> that shall remain nameless. Yes. But I think for me, mm. honestly, and I have to first encourage myself. Yes. Two, I'm telling you, mm -hmm. first of all, generational impact. Mm. If I change the lives of, let's just even say 100 people, mm -hmm. or 10 people, or one person, then that was my purpose. Mm. That, that was it. The, I just have to get, it's a getting over yourself moment. Mm, mm. And then also, this content will be here forever. There's posterity in this content. So it might not be that they get to know about it today, but they might need it tomorrow. Mm. And then also the timeliness of the messages and it doesn't matter which year it was done, it will meet somebody's need. Yeah. Somebody will be searching for something on Misunderstood mm -hmm. or just Angie, mm -hmm. and they'll find mm. an answer. Yeah. The answer is there. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not now, um, I don't overthink mm. the, the, the numbers. Mm. I've refused to. Because we're not in charge of the impact mm. Mm -hmm. that has That's happened good. in people's That's lives. We're, We're not in charge. We're just there to execute. Like yeah. you said, we have gifts. Yeah. We have gifts, we have creativity, we have platforms, we have conversations, we have guests, we have content. Let's just do it. Mm. And then allow the content to do what it needs to do. Mm. And in my, when I'm being now my human type self, when I'm mm -hmm. thinking this content should have X number of viewers mm -hmm. and it has X number of viewers, that really isn't my business. Yeah. yeah generational impact i like yeah. that Pastor. because one person mm -hmm. will change yes but they'll change how maybe they they'll they'll change how they get married mm -hmm. let's say even the marriage we do it yes. so they'll get they listen to somebody misunderstood or just angry, they will change mm -hmm. they will change even maybe the, their their spouse or how they get married mm -hmm. they raise how they they'll change how they raise their children they'll raise the kind of legacy they live so already ch transformation has happened 
in such a huge way, yeah. it's a ripple effect. Yeah. You know how when you stroll through yes. a store and there's, you see the ripples coming, mm -hmm. it's definitely going to be a mm. ripple effect and it's definitely going to have impact. So the numbers are blinding. You, you see so little when you see them. Eh? Yeah. Because you don't mm. see the people behind the numbers. Yeah. And you don't see the lives behind the numbers. Yeah. And you don't see the transformation yeah. behind the numbers. Oh, that's fantastic. She's yeah. the bishop, man. I keep saying, I keep saying, guys, I keep saying. Me and the bishop. <laughs> I bless. Hey, don't get me started about the bishop. But, well, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next um, Thursday where we're going to talk about well, Nyawira's long post alert. And I'm mm. so looking forward to hearing what that is all about. Mm. God bless. Bye-bye. Thank you.